Right now, we have a high wind warning issued by the National Weather Service for the northern thumb. That's Sanilac, Tuscola, and Huron counties. The wind gusts there could be even 55 to perhaps 60 miles per hour. The rest of us, it's a wind advisory in effect tomorrow. It's more like 50 to perhaps 50 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts. Not all the time, but just there could be a few gusts to that range. If you're heading outside right now, the wind is not here, so that's good news. Temperatures, though, have really peeled back from those uh, we reached the 50s for a few hours this afternoon, but with the cloud cover that came in, you can see we've dropped back off. In fact, it's only 39 right now in Sandusky, but the temperatures are going to come up tonight as the warm front approaches. All right, here's Storm Tracker 4. We are basically dry right now. There are a few little sprinkles coming out of northern Indiana. I don't think that's going to pose any problem. This is the main event here, and you can see this storm is a very dynamic storm, and it's getting stronger and stronger, and it's going to continue strengthening through the night. And in fact, you can see the snow on the top end of this thing here. Some areas are going to get a foot of snow out of this deal, but we're on the warm side. No snow for us. That's going to accumulate at least. So again, there may be a sprinkle or two in the area, but the main event is going to come in this evening with this warm front. The rain that comes in with this front is going to be more stratiform. In other words, it's going to be just a widespread area of light to moderate rain. And then once this front goes through, we start to see more instability and heavier downpours. There could even be some thunderstorms. And notice the location, southern part of the area. That's where the heaviest downpours appear that they're going to set up in our part of the state. Now, once that moves out, we wake up Saturday morning. There still could be a few showers around. This is 8 o'clock, maybe a few pockets of sunshine, but don't be fooled. This cold front comes in late morning. These showers are going to have very strong wind gusts, and there will be strong gusts immediately behind this cold front as well, maybe a flurry or a snow shower, and then we clear out Saturday night. Rain amounts, where I just showed you those uh, potential, at least for those storms tonight, an inch to an inch and a half, maybe even more than that to the south with a half inch to an inch areas to the north. Wind gusts tomorrow. This is just a snapshot here. Easily 40 to 50 miles per hour and some spots are going to see 50 plus mile per hour gusts and real quick temperatures. Look at this. We're going to start the day in the 50s. Watch the drop in temperature. This is now 11 a.m. By the end of the afternoon, we're going to be well down into the 30s. This is a very dramatic weather event. You'll be talking about the weather tomorrow. So again, Upper 50s is when you wake up tomorrow morning. By the end of the afternoon, in the 30s and the gusts, the peak gusts are going to be late morning with the cold front into the early part of the afternoon. So Sunday, 44, still breezy, but lots of sun Sunday and Monday. And then, Karen, we warm back up to near record heat. Look at this back up approaching 60 by next Wednesday and Thursday. This roller coaster it is, is a just roller coaster. continuing. Wow.